Okay, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how um, to do calligraphy letters. Sitting here playing on my nails and I came up, well, I drew this one on my nails. You're just going to need a um, container or something to put your paint on. I got this pen from Walmart. It comes with like, I think, three or four other tips. It was like $9. I know you can get them on eBay cheaper, but I don't like to wait on eBay sometimes. And I really want to, you know, play around with stuff. So I went, went ahead and got this one. Um, I'm using the, the tip today that has it's the sharpest point. The sharpest one. You're going to also need a striper brush, but I would... It's best to use a striper pen that's really, really dip it in some water so you can see really, really fine. You're going to need something like this to clean up your um, work. And the best acrylic paint that I um, I like is the um, Apple Barrel. I got this from, I think, Michael's for like 57 cents, so cheaper than that. Walmart have them also. So... What you do is you go on eBay, not eBay, you go on Google, Google Images, and you type in calligraphy letters, and it will come up all of the letters. You can type in calligraphy letters, E or C or whatever you want to practice on, and just, you know, they have different kinds. So just study, you know, look around and see which, which ones you want to, um, you know, play with. My battery is blinking, so let me hurry up. I must need a new battery because this camera, I can't record nothing. It just goes dead. So I'm just going to be practicing with this. Um, this nail has already been painted. So what you're going to do is um, get your paint. You don't need that much paint. You want to dab it on your... Um, you don't even need that much paint. But... um. Hate to rush but my battery is blinking so let me go ahead and get straight to it so just look at your eye look at your design look at your phone and just you know and just draw what you see so you want to get a good amount on it on both sides And that's pretty good, but this is where your pen come in handy. Okay, that's pretty good, but you want, um, this is where your brush is going to come in handy. What you're going to do is get your brush and put it in that paint. And this is going to help you clean up your edges so it can be just a straight line. Now, you know, to tell you the honest truth, you can do these letters with, if you have like a, you know, different kind of brushes, you can just use a brush to um, do this. But, you know, sometimes for, depends on the letters and stuff, this pen really does come in handy when you want that sharp, that sharp edge. And I've used different kind of paints and 
I don't know if it's just too watery. I don't know what it was, but this um this apple barrel is I love it. So just go ahead and just get that and I um heard professionals also say that. So and I'm a little shake. I've been drinking coffee this morning. So take your time. I'm looking at my hand. It's easy to look at my hand because my phone just went black. And also, you can what you can do is um, to clean to also clean up your areas. You can let this dry. You can blow on it, let it dry a little bit. You can dip. Oh, you also want to have a um, thing of water by by you also for cleanup. This is just regular tap water. Um, when it starts to dry, like I said, if you want to clean up any areas, like on the sides or whatever, you want to get a brush with a tip like that. Dip it in some water, pat the excess off on the towel or paper towel, and just go under or whatever and just clean up a little bit. Take your time and just gently, you know, because this is water-based paint, so... Of course, I can wash all of this off right now with some water. So, just take your time. It's just best to take your time, whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? So, so you don't have to go back over or whatever. So, as you can see under here, how I'm cleaning that up. It wasn't, and it wasn't anything wrong with it, but I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes only for you guys. That's how easy it is. And you can just wipe your brush off completely and just you know take off any excess water that might have ran on your nails or whatever on your nail. And that's it you guys. So stay tuned for picture. Stay tuned. So stay tuned for um a picture.